Hi everybody, I'm Sean here. Uh, right now we're going through uh, what is probably a long overdue scrutiny of different uh, logos that are on different brand names that uh, may be demeaning or exploitive of different uh, minorities here in the United States. Uh, the first to go was the uh, Land of Lakes Butter uh, woman, a, a, a rather pretty young Native American woman with a feather in her hair, which was on uh, the package of Land O'Lakes Butter. She's no longer there. It seems to have been decided that the image was racist and offensive, although who decided that and how that got decided, I don't know. I'm no expert, I'm not a Native American, so it's certainly not for me to decide. But when I look at that picture, it doesn't appear demeaning or undignified. I, I guess it could be considered a racial stereotype. Uh, it's just a bit confusing to me. Uh, so I don't know exactly what the controversy was about, but I don't know whether it would have been more racist to keep her or whether it's more racist to remove a Native American from her land. Now the Washington Redskins logo on the other hand is clearly uh, racist and offensive. I mean the, the name of the team is a racial slur. Again, I'm not Native American, but if I were, I think I would be definitely be offended by that name. But there are no plans to change it. Now, Aunt Jemima is an obvious racial stereotype based on minstrel show depictions of, of a black woman. So the end of that brand is long overdue. Uncle Ben, on the other hand, is a is a different story. Uh, he, he is based on a real rice farmer in Houston, Texas, who was well known for the quality of his rice. During World War II, he was a major supplier of rice to the U.S. military, providing a, a valuable service to this country. Now, the picture on the box is not him. But it is a real person, a gentleman named Frank Brown, who worked as a maitre d' in a Chicago hotel. And in, in the portrait of him, he is wearing his maitre d' outfit. Now, some people say it's a racial stereotype because he's wearing a bow tie. But in the 1940s, bow ties were much more common than they are now. And he was wearing his maitre d' outfit and bow ties would have been a, a very common part of a maitre d' outfit. And if he were white, he probably would be wearing the same tie. So I don't see how that can be considered ra racist. And in the picture, Mr. Brown looks, uh, he's a very good looking uh, elderly gentleman. He looks friendly and warm and dignified. I don't see anything stereotypical or demeaning in the picture. Uh, now I do understand that, uh, that I think he only got paid fifty dollars for the use of that picture so I think that the PepsiCo which uh, owns Uncle Ben's Rice should find his relatives and compensate them fairly for all the years that that picture has been used. But I don't know if it should be removed. I'm thinking if in our zeal to remove racial stereotypes from products, if we get carried away and remove all people of color from product logos, then we will wind up with only white people representing products on our grocery store shelves. And wouldn't that be a form of racism? Thanks for listening.